Good morning and welcome to Masechah's Rosh Hashanah, Daf Vav, Daf 6. Oh, Shmuel, you came in the perfect time. Well, I didn't expect Shmuel to come to join me today. I didn't expect to either, but... I didn't even know you were here. I thought you were still in Yerushalayim. Shmuel went to Yerushalayim last night. He slept over and gone soccer that's right, that's right. in the middle of the field. That's right. He laid down. He enjoyed the breeze. All right. It's nice to, to go to some gun sock in the middle. But it was tough when the police came in the morning and they, they threw you out, right? Must have been hard for you. Oh, that? Yeah, well. They know me already, you know what I'm saying? You were asking for stuck or you weren't? <laughs> you think I'm Dovin Haqaykan? Who? Dovin Haqaykan. Who's that? David Achaikan, he said. You know what? Who, you Who is that? I don't know. Once upon a time, he made funny videos. He's a. Uh, he would make these funny videos, and I look a lot like him. And people you stop like David Achaikan? And people stop me. And, uh, well, now you're making funny videos. You're back into your into your business. Maybe you could bring David Achaikan onto one of our shows. Maybe. I don't know where he is anymore. Who's funnier, Mir Mir Dava Kai Khan? Oh my gosh. <laughs> very difficult. I wonder what people in Azaz Nasha want to hear me speak. What do they think, right? What do they think? All right, I'm going to start here. Hey, my bees, on the bottom, last word. This the Gemara is trying to figure out <clears throat> how do you know the Gemara stated a fact that. Uh, even though you're over about the Acha or the Korban, if you bring it as a Korban afterwards, it's still a valid Korban. Even though you violate the love, it's still a valid Korban. So, Gemara says, Kati, with the Benazai Nafka, you can still learn a Benazai. Sanya, Benazai Omer, also. It's not a Pigol. Pigol is when you have Kavana, the Makra of a Korban, puts those mano, puts some Komo. Matam Aloma, the Tishanem, or those Acha, the Shalmo. I would think also that if you, you delay bring your carbon for three regalim, also the carbon does not appease, it's not a good carbon. Also, also, what's because mute by pigle? Also, below your rotse, because pigle, uh, if you have the wrong machshavos, you can't be, eat that carbon, you can't be makar in this bech. Ain't makar nidra below your rotse. If you ladies bring a carbon, he's not over by rotse. Ella, so what are we, what are we darshan? The Gemara had a, a drasha b'chachet, a velo b'karbon chachet. So what is the drasha? What does that go on? If it doesn't go on uh, invalidating the karbon, ella b'chachet, velo b'ish t'chachet. We learn that b'risa means that it should be a sin you, you, the, the man, who vows to bring the karbon, velo b'ish t'chachet, and not... Your wife, Saka, that I mean, a whole Amra Yochan, we came out of the laws, our Amy Stosh, all the Mason, and came of action, Menu, Mamma, and Ainlo. Person, person's wife, he loses his wife. If you're in a bad marriage, that's right, that's happens. And you don't want to be married to the woman anymore, but you're too, you don't want to give her a ksuba. What's the story like that? Right? <laughs> and you don't, it's too expensive to give her the ksuba, and, uh, you know, you don't want to divorce her, it's humiliating. So what do you do? The Gemara is an Eitzah. So. A person, if they if you get into debt and people ask money from you, so your wife dies. No, it means if the person... What does it mean? No, if a person has 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 given given uh, given uh, given his word, given Sitzdaka, that he's going to... Do. He's going to give tzedakah. He's going to give tzedakah. All right, it could be. He's going to give tzedakah to a certain, and, he, and then he he backs out and he. It doesn't he, say he, that exactly. He, that's where it, it is. Elohim came of Achim and a moment of Elosh. Remember, in Elach Halashalim, Lama Yikach Mishkav Chamitach. That we don't have what to pay back. So Shmuel says referring to. I know there are Gemaras that say it. It talks about a neder though. It talks neder, about right. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say anything about a neder. In Elach Halashalim, this is a pasuk game. Well, it's talking about pasuk game Mishlei. Okay, all right. That's his shot. I say even if it's some you you have loan sharks, people owe a lot of money. How do they get your loan sharks to get you to pay? They kill your wife. 
don't know if this is true or not. I don't have experience with loan sharks. Maybe you do, but um, the Gemara says you lose your wife if you either, according to Shmuel, you owe money to the to, to Carbonos or you owe a loan. <clears throat> By the way, I'm just gonna say a disclaimer over here. This is not advice. All right, the Gemara is not giving you advice. I was making a joke before that if you wanna get rid of your wife without the humiliation, without paying the ksuba. Don't try this at home, okay? Both people might be confused out there. Uh, <coughs> so you might think also that if you're a Balta Akar, you delay bringing your ned there, your wife's going to die also. This is against what you're saying. So it says, you might think that if you're delay bringing your, your ned there, delay bring your carbon. So the Gemara says, by Korban, it's not. So obviously the other person wasn't talking about Korban, it was something else. Shmuel, you have been defeated. Go like this, you know. <laughs> I don't know. You have been defeated from the Gemara. All right, I don't know about it. Moses, I said, Zoom, Mrs. Essay. Another Pasuk. We've quoted a Pasuk on that Hayamud base, which is two Pasukim before this Pasuk. It says, Losa Akhar Allah. Here it says, Moses, I Zoom is a say Tishmar Zoom is Losa say right the Gemara says he shamer pain velav all our examples Mrs Losa say that Sisa what is that kind of tell her the basin she ashuka kasher nadarta that basin should force you to pay up your nadarim kasher nadarta zen neder l'ashem lo kacha elu kadosh v'ashem lo zolos v'shlam the reference to paying up your Carbonos. Nadava Kamashmo. Nadava is a voluntary offering. You say Harizu, this animal should be a Korban. Asher Dibarta, Elu Kachim Berekaba. These are Kachim, meaning animals you donated for the upkeep of the Mizbah of the base of Mikdash. But Ficha is a Staka. Ficha is a Korban Staka. I'm going to mark Moses Hedaka, Zoom is essay. Why do I need a Mitz's essay? Here we have a Los Akar, the Shalom, two Psukim ago, and that Pema base is a Los Akar to delay bringing a veil. Now you need a mitzvah essay. Why? We have a different pasuk in Vasa Shama, based on Shama, a different pasuk in Dvarim. It seems to say you should bring your kabbalas. Nafka Tishmor is a mitzvah losa say. The Brisa continues that the word Tishmor tells you it's a losa say to delay bringing your nedarim lamali melosachal l'shalma nafka. We just had two pesukim before. A lav it said melosachal l'shalma. You need two lav. And Asisa as her the base and she has shuka lamali. Why do you, why do you need them? Miyakrov so nafka a different pasuk in. I believe it's in Vayikra. The sound Yakrav Oso. The beginning of Vayikra. Yakrav Oso. You should. Malam is a Kofan Oso. We force a person to bring. He pledges to bring a Korban. We force him to bring the Korban. Yakobak Korban. You might think it means you have to actually, you know, tie him up in handcuffs and actually force him to bring the Korban. And whip him. Talmulomar Lertsono. Hakit's a Kofan Oso. Shriomar Rotan. And we force him until he capitulates. And he says, I'm willing to do it. Anyway, you see, it's a question. Basically, the Gemara is saying we have two psukim, you know, two psukim that say the same thing. Only both of them force. The Gemara says, One pasuk is talking about where he pledged to bring something, and he didn't separate the korban yet. One is he separated the korban already, and he didn't bring it to the base of Migdash already. He separated from his flock, but he didn't bring it to the base of Migdash. In both cases, there's Balta Acher. Now, this is Enoch Ben Zion. We have a wild Enoch Ben Zion today. This is real Lumdus. I'm telling you, all the Yeshiva Nicks out there, today, close your Gemaras, go to Machsanei Chashmal, get a Dell computer, call up Ramon, get, uh, get, get internet in your home, get YouTube unfiltered, and you go to Ramon, they have a little bit of Filter, you can filter out the really bad stuff. Um, you get entitled to watch YouTube. Dial into my Sheer and see on Lang YouTube channel. Um, and tune in for this Sheer and, and the following Sheer. I'm also because today is real on this. I'm telling you, I have really something really good to do today to offer you. Better than Ramash Ariely, better than the Panovich Arov, better. Gershon Edelstein, better than David Cohen from Cleveron, any other Rabbana I'm missing. Um, better than Rav Chaim Kanievsky from Nebrak. Better than. <laughs> <laughs> better than Rav Cutler, Cutler from, uh, from Lakewood. 
I mean, the list goes on and on and on. It's better than everyone out there. Every Chosh of Rav out there, what I'm about to tell you today is better than it. It's it's worthwhile to take a, a notebook, start writing down my solution, and print it. <laughs> print it into a safer because I'm telling you, it's that good, all right? It's that good. Take it out. I don't have time to write my own safer. You write down my notes. Rishi Mochel Ben Sion Lang. Write it down. Title it Rishi Mochel Ben Sion Lang. It's not funny, you really <laughs> Make a million copies and give it out to every single Jew in the world. And actually, the twenty-two what, million Jews in the world. Give it out to make twenty-two million copies. Yeah, well, the -Jews also Jews. Give it out to. Um, there's about fourteen million halachic Jews in the world. And fourteen about million. Twenty-two million Jews. Uh, include grandparents. Jews? No, that their mother is Jewish. Oh. Luckily, valid Jews. There's 22 million Jews out there. I want to tell you a that, secret. That uh, identifies Jewish. I want to tell you a secret. If, yeah. if you're talking about the Jews, halachically Jews, you probably have a, you know what I'm saying, 100, 500 million Jews. You know what I'm saying? Mm, not exactly. Probably half of Brazil. You know what I'm saying? Half of Spain, half of Brazil. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. They did statistics about that. Unfortunately, so yeah, they have People no, don't know they're Jewish or something? Oh, well, that's for sure. Please. I mean, what happened over the years? Inquisition, all these things that they—they they are intermarried. Now they intermarried. Exactly, they intermarried. So the children are—they don't know they're Jewish. They don't know they're there. They're not Jewish. Only, only the mother after the okay, mother after so the, the mother. mother. Okay, so you don't have. You know, they know. They know they're Jewish. All right, let's and go on. No way of knowing. No way of knowing, but that's the estimate I'm giving you from no, Wikipedia you're about and Google. That, you're talking about stories where people know the, the mother was Jewish. I'm thinking about. There's always gonna there was somebody who lived uh, five hundred years ago who was a Jewish the mother of Jewish. Okay. Okay. Listen, I'm not talking about unknown Jews. I'm talking about the known okay. Jews. Unknown. The known Jews. There's fourteen million Fine. known. Okay. That's halakhically valid no, that's Jews. Not, Twenty-two okay. million Jews that <clears throat> identify themselves as Jewish. So for all those people, we'll make twenty-two million copies. We'll give it out for free if you tune in to one year of Masechus Rosh Hashanah. We'll give it out for free. We're giving out Rashimos over here. We're not giving out free articles. Say, say the Shia, the Tiddush. <laughs> All right, listen to this. So the Gemara says, one case is talking with Amr al Now, the Gemara scroll says, and I believe Rosh doesn't explain either over here, which which Pasuk is referring to which one. Right? It doesn't say, Kad uh, Amr. Right, right, it doesn't say which one. The Pasuk we're talking about virtually the same thing. And the Gemara never, the Rishon really don't talk about this. The Arshkol says, we don't know which one is which one. And what's the Nafkamin? The Nafkamin is, let's say he's Amr below Afrish. He designates a korban. He's not mafreshit, right? And then three, and then two regalim pass. Then he's mafreshit, and he doesn't makar for another for another two regalim. Was he over in Balta Acher or not? It's a shaila, right? No, this is a lamish shaila, right? Shayla. Because it's, is it does it mean? I think the article concludes that really it's just. Oh, who asked uh, this question? Uh, the article uh, gets into this a little bit, and the article says it's obvious. According to the art scroll, it's obvious that a bottom of the art scroll that um, it doesn't mean that they're each separate uh, shiurim. Separate shiurim. They're all together. It's all together. So therefore, in my case, where you take you you took you two <sighs> two uh, you you uh, you Omar, you you you, you uh, pledge the korban, and then you didn't separate it, and then you separate it after two after two regalim, and then the third regal passes, and you didn't bring it already on Maralta Acher. Is that so pashut? Not so pashut to me. Two different braces, two different limudim. The Gemara separates them. I want to say that no, you have each one, and we're gonna we're gonna see. I, I have to expand on this in a second. The sricha, you need both both braces. The Ashmenu Amar Velo Afresh Mishlum the Kaimeli Dibure. That case, he didn't keep his word. Avol Afresh Velo Akrif. Once he separates the animal and he's not makrif, it ema kol hecha the isay begazu derachmana isay. Wherever it is, he already separated from his flock. It's already considered in the treasury. Of hektish, sricha v'yashmina afresh al akriv. Who told me afresh al akriv the kamashi legabe? There he separates. He's keeping him by. Well, amar lo afresh emu dibur lo kumi. He just said he didn't really separate the animal. Yeah, that's not. He can't be over about the Sricha. They need both. We might ask amar is the amar lo afresh. Could you say the gemara has a tangential question over here? If he says and he's not mafresh it, how could that be over about the achar? Had a dava ksiva. One of the things in the brayis is in the dava. The Tanizu Nether, Omer Harei Alai Ola. Let's consider a Nether. Nether is when a person says, I accept upon myself, upon myself, upon my shoulders, and Ola. The Ezu Nadava, Omer Harei Zu Ola. He designates this animal as an Ola. Ma be Nether and Nadava. What's the Nafka between them? 
Neither Meso Nignal Chaya Vachisa, but dies are stolen, you have to replace it. And Dava Meso Nignal, Eno Chaya Vachisa, because it only designated one animal. Amar Rav, Mishkach Asla, Kigon, the Amar Rei Alai Ola, Amenash, Eni Chaya Vachisa. It is in the Dava. He says, Alai Ola, Ola, because he said he's not Chaya Vachisa. Because he said, Tonight, I'm not Chaya to replace it. But it's Harei Alai Ola, because he, uh, the Amar Velo Afresh. He was it was it he said Velo Afresh. He didn't say Hare Zu. He rather said Hare Alai. So it was Amar Velo Afresh. But still he's not Khaya Vakusa, so it's still considered an Adava. Where can the Fika, the Bryce can Fika, Zu stuck. Amar Rava, stuck on Mikhail Alt, Rav is a big Hiddish, stuck on your Khayev right away. My time. I like Kami Aniyim, because the Aniyim are present. There's always Aniyim to the family. You have to give it stuck right away. There's no three regalim. Says a Pshita. Obvious obvious. We'll see what, why it's so obvious. Ma the same. I came the minyan the kavanas ksiva. Add the avri alar gimel or golem. Staka is written along with carbonos. Ki carbonos, we think it's carbonos. Carbonos are tied into the regalim. Kamash molan hasmud lin rachmana beragalim. Aval hacha alo the hashlichi aniim. By carbonos, there it's totally in the regalim. Now, how is it totally in the regalim? Because it says carbonos, and it says by the regalim we learn out. It says uh, the oldest Ra'iya and the Shalmei Simcha and Shalmei Kagiga, right? So it talks about, we learn out Baal Ta'acher, how many regalim from that Pasuk, because it's Chaga Matzah, it's Chaga Shul, it's Chaga Sukkos, how many regalim you're over. So therefore, it's Karbonos over there, because the oldest Ra'iya and Shalmei Kagiga, so therefore, it says Karbonos in, in Dvarim, and later on in Dvarim, in Dvarim Chav Gimel, Baal Ta'acher, so we assume Karbonos is Gimel Regalim. Ahacha, lo, that's Sheikhi Aniyam, but here, no, cause. There is an em to give to. Okay, now I'm going to say the Kiddush. You're all waiting for. Okay, listen to this Kiddush. Mm. <clears throat> this a question the article brings up, and I think we're showing him bringing this up. It says, Stuckle, you're over the altar. Now, we had a Bryce on here with Bayes that says, Stuckle's on Maestros. And the Gemara there clearly said, Gemara go. So, what is it? Why didn't the Gemara. Talk about this over here. If really the Gemara meant by Staka and Ahamad Bey is that Brysa, or is Losa Akal the Shalmo, Sta'ilo Astakos Va Maestros, that really have to do it right away. It should have said, Rubber should have said it over there, if it really meant right away. And Pash says it means Gilmar Gol, like all the other Chiyuvim over there. Maestros, so we're maestros, stuck. Maestros, we're maestros, stuck. It says Maestros, you have to, the fear of Maestros, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. there's his, another question, right? Another question. We can add on a lot of questions. There it says Stakos and Maestros. There it just says Vicha, Zut Staka. And there in the Bright says it says Bachor and Maiser, and the Gemara here says it doesn't say Bachor, this Bright doesn't say Bachor or Maiser. There's other thing this Bright leaves out that the other Bright had. I want to say now we can answer which Bright is talking about the Amar below Afrish, and which one is the Afrish below Akrave. Really, there's two types of Chiyuvim. One is where I personally go above and beyond my Chiyuvim. And one is taxes. Did you know that Trumas and Maestros is a tax? I'm telling you this right now. Trumas and Maestros, when you give your Trumas and Maestros to the Kohanim, and to the Levium, you have to fill out a 1040. I'm telling you, you're filling out the 1040. That's what these things, Trumas and Maestros, are. They're taxes. I'm just trying to bring into layman's terms over here. That's why it's so important to have Terach Eretz and Torah to know there's a connection between this world and the Torah. That, that's what Trumas and Maestros are. They're taxes. And you know what? There's something in Judaism called a welfare tax. You know what a welfare tax is? The government is responsible to give out welfare. People are very poor. People are unemployed. People who have disabilities. They have to give out money to them. It's called a welfare. That's welfare. That's food stamps and things like that. And that's what the Bryce and him business is talking about. Stakuzu Maestros. The Kamaji with Maestros. The Kachumas and Maestros also is a tax. Those are taxes. You give to Levim, you give to Kohanim, you give to Ani, and Maestro Ani. There's a lot of taxes in the Torah. There's taxes. And Staka, there's a welfare tax. That price I was talking about, there's no Amr over there. There's no Chiyav. Amr is only when I decide I want to give it. When the Torah says you have to give it, you have to give it already. You have to give that welfare tax. <laughs> right? So Afrish, that's the price on him, but he's talking about Afrish for Akrib. Right, he separated. The first step is to separate. There's no Amr over there. There's no there's no him designating I'm getting up and I'm gonna be Mikhaiv himself in Shumas and Maestros. Oh, I'm Khaiv himself in Shumas and Maestros. 
No, he's chayiv already. Okay. From the minute he has the tevel, he's chayiv in Shumas and Maestros. He's chayiv. There's no Omar. Right. That's what it's talking about over there. That's Tzakos and Maestros. That's talking about Bechor, Maestro, Pesach. All these things are chayuvim that are rami on the goof of the person that he has to give it because of a tax. He has a levy upon him on his shoulders. This b'risa, Beficha, it says Beficha. You can't get more of Omar. This is Omar below Afresh. Why do they know that? Beficha, with your mouth. You see, it's clearly referring to Amar below Afresh. Here we're talking about where a person is a wealthy person. He such. I'm going to be a nice guy. I'm going to give a million dollars to Mir Yeshiva for the poor people to support. I'm, I'm Rechnes. Rechnes, this price is talking yeah, about you. This you know, price, like, what? Who? Uh, no, the wealthy man, a laser shiner. Yeah, okay. He uh, decided to uh, get together. He had a uh, initiative to uh, brought together a lot of uh, wealthy people that they should uh, make sure and, and I guess start a fund for the Lakewood. Kolo. Kolo. Every year, every month, each guy gets a thousand dollars. Yeah, I heard they tripled it. Okay. Listen, anyway, for all those, what's his name? Laser shiner. Yeah. Laser shiners out there for all you Shlomo. I think his name is Shlomo. Shlomo Reckness is out there. This price is talking about you. You got your name all over. Davov in Rosh Hashanah. Peficha zu When you pledge staka, you have to bring it. And they are totally different chiyuvah because one is talking about a tax. And one is talking about a voluntary donation that you don't have to do. And therefore, they were not overlap. You can't combine the two. You can't combine Amar Velo Afrish and Afrish. You can't combine two regalim here one regal over there. He was said, and then he took him two regalim to mafresh it, and it took him another two regalim before he actually brought the korban. They would not combine because they're talking about two different chiyuvim. No, 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 okay. That's right in the, the Rashimos. Well, the Gemara should have been a little right. more clear. The Gemara should have said one pasuk is talking about. It did say that. No, it says one is afresh v'lap. It doesn't. It doesn't sound like the same type of uh, same type of charity or whatever. But it just. Yeah, I have a lot of questions. Uh, I have a lot of questions. I asked a lot of good questions. They were good questions. Very they good. were good questions. I like that. I like put it in the Rashimos. Put it in the Rashimos. Put it in the Rashimos. We're starting a fund to, to get my book published. I think you get should. Get it published. I think you should get it published. Yeah. Listen, I'll take all the royalties. You publish it. I'll take 50%. You take 50%. We got a deal. <coughs> 22 million copies. <laughs> Maybe a bestseller, New York Times bestseller. bestseller of course. All right, let's where go are you on. Where keep all these twenty-two million? I mean, where are you going to put it all? Over? You have a garage or something? <laughs> <laughs> you need a pretty big warehouse for this. Uh, I'm going to give it a Maybe it'll go on the corners, like in the best of the Giatos books. I'm going to give it a Binyane Uma. All right. I'm going to give it a Binyane Uma. the Javits Center in, uh, in New York. All right. Oh. So the murder says we have to go on because we're very late. I'll tell you a funny comment. I was reading the comments on one of Ellie Stefanski interviews. And one, they all said great sheer or whatever. And one guy says, he says, Ellie, what's with all the levity? What's with all the joking around? You know, we hit we, <coughs> 45 minutes. You only have 45 minutes to give a sheer. And we, Ahmed Bayes, we, we only had 10 minutes one time. We only had 10 minutes for Ahmed Bayes. He was so sad. One minute, he stopped the joking. Stop the joking. We only had 10 minutes for Ahmed Bayes. You know what? In my share, you have 10 minutes for Ahmed Olive and Ahmed Bayes combined. All right. Let's go on. That's why people are not listening to my share, apparently. Uh, <clears throat> so the Gemara Samarov, came to Avra Love, Regal Echad, over a essay. Once uh, one regal passes, right, even the three regal, you need to violate the Losa, say one regal, you violate the essay. Macy, the question from Rabbi said, Hey, Rabbi Shabbat of Hippias, I'll vod Shlomim, Mishi Yikar of Shlomim. The child of a Shlomim, your Makdish is something as a Shlomim, and it has a child, it gets pregnant, it becomes, it gives a child. That that animal, that Vlad, even though you were more in Makdish than a Shlomim, is also more as a Shlomim. I'm Rabbi Bias, and he made, I give testimony. Shai Salanu Poros of Zivke Shlomim. We had a cow that was Shlomim. Vachalnu Pesach. We ate it on Pesach. Vachalnu Vlada Shlomim Bachat. We ate its child. That was born from it as a shlamim on Sukkot. Bishlam Pesach Alakavua. They couldn't bring on Pesach. Amrinam Kosher's Manhava because you have to wait eight days before you're mocking an animal. El Avlad the Batzeres Heichi Mashulah. If you're violating an essay one regular, how could they wait past Shvuos? Avri Alav Essay. Amrinam Zimish made the Rav Akigon Shahaya 
Chol at Bat Sarah. He says it was sick on Bat Sarah. That was the case. So he couldn't bring it. Ravashi Yomar, my Vachal, no Vlado, Shlom, and Bechag, the Tani Chaga Shua. Chag doesn't mean so, because it means Shua. So, right? Idach, the other first answer, why didn't he say that? Call Hecha, the Tani Pesach, Tani at Sarah. Anytime it says Pesach, and it doesn't say Chag, it pulls out at Sarah. So I'm a Rava. Over another chesh of Rabba. Rabba is bringing a lot of chidushim over here. He's like a field day on Davov. He says, uh, once three regalim pass, every day you don't bring the korban. Not every minute. Every day you volley Baltachir. Again, you get on the Malchus again. Mesive, you can't get a Malchus. It's Lav Shalos. Lav Shalom Maisa. Mesive, Echad Bechor, Echad Kol Akajim, Kevon Shalom, Orale, and Shana, Bro, Regalim. Regalim below Shana. If you have. Three regalim pass, even though it wasn't a full year, or a full year passes, even though it wasn't three regalim. We'll see how the shayach in a second. Over to Baal Ta'acher, behind my tiyufe. The Gemara says, "What's the question from this price?" I'm Rakhana. Man kamosu shabek kamos. The one who's asking a question is asking a very fine question. Michti Tana alavi kamahader. He's trying to come up with weird lavim, right? Shana below regalim, regalim below shana. Listing b'chol yom yom over to Baal Ta'acher. Say also another case that you're over on extra lavim when you. Every day after three three regalim, you're over baldak every day. Either I thought it wasn't a question. And Tana lemikdi a balav kamahader. Balav you say or lo kamahader. It's just trying to establish what is a lav. It's not trying to find every case of lav. And kufa echad bechor echad kol akadshim kevon shara lele and shana below regalim regalim below shana over baldak acher. Bishlam a regalim below shana meshkachas tla. That makes sense, right? You can makdish the animal right right before uh, Pesach, and then once Sukkot is over. A little more than six months later, you violated. Ella Shana below Regalim. I give you a full year without the Regalim. Hani Chalman de Islay Kisidra. Mishkachas, according to the one, the opinion who says that you need to have three Regalim from starting from Pesach. So if you're a Makhjid after Pesach, so you're not, you don't violate until the following year after Sukkot. So of course you have a whole year. Ella the Manda Lays like Kisidra and Hechim Mishkachas. If you hold, it has to be three Regalim in any order. Of course, the year is going to pass. Mishlam Allah Rebbe Mishkachas. Uh, of course, you're going to have three regalim. Mishlam of the Rebbe Mishkach Tzav Hashanah Moberes. According to Rebbe, it makes sense. Like and, this, uh, year. this year, the year is a leap year. A leap year. Right? The Sanya Shana, Tamima, Rebbe Omer, Mona Gil, Meos, Shishim, Chamishim, Yom. Kim Yim Yom, Zachal. This talking about Machlokes by Bate Arichom, where you sell a house in a walled city. Right? The buyer has a year, Shana Tamima, to redeem it. So this machlokis is well, how long is that year? Rebbe says it goes 365 days, like the the, the solar year. The chamom mona yud beis chodesh mi yom liyom in the sabr shon the sabr lo. Count 12 months, a Jewish calendar, 354 days. If it's a leap year, so then he gets an extra 13th month to redeem it. Meshkach the Rebbe the act of shabbos or chag amasas klimato sheliyadar basra. Shana malia regalim lo malu. According to Rebbe, for the solar year. So therefore, let's say a leap year, a solar year. So if you're Makdish, uh, the animal um, after uh, after uh, Pesach is over, 22nd of Nisan, 22nd day of Nisan, right? So by the time 365 days is up, right? 365 before, days is up, it's Pesach. already, it's before Pesach, it's the beginning of Nisan. They point out it's right. a problem at the beginning of Nisan. The Gemara mm-hmm. says it's other, it's a late other. Mm-hmm. You see, maybe it's talking about Matish in the middle of Pesach, and then it's out of the last days of Adar. All right, technical stuff. El Rabban and Hekushan, the Rabban and when it's a leap year, you calculate that yeah. part of the year. Yeah, so, the year. so you need know. 13 months. Shemaya <laughs> Shiva. Shemaya says Shvuls could fall sometimes on the fifth day of Sivan, some days on the sixth day of Sivan, some days on the seventh day of Sivan. If ER and Sivan. Are Malayim in the 30 days, all right? They're full mm. months, and it falls on the fifth. If mm. one Mali, one cluster, one on the sixth. If both are cluster, it falls on the seventh because it has to be 50 days after. Right, right, after, right. after, right. after the Omer, not Kate's side. Shnei Malayim, Chamesha, Shnei Chasir, and Shiva. Echa Mali, Echa Cluster, Shishla. We just said, Mantana, the Pali Galah. So therefore, it would come out, according to Rav Shemaya, it would come out that if you're Makdish the animal, let's say Shavuos fell out on the fifth. Of Nisa of Sivan, and then your Makdish the animal on the 6th of Sivan. The next year, it fell on the 7th of Sivan. So by the 6th of Sivan, you had a whole year, but it wasn't three Regalim. So it worked out according to that. A month of the polygon of the Rosh Who are you, Rosh Shemai? Calculation. Acherim, the heat is on. Acherim, only eight minutes. Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah, El Adad, Yom Levav, Mahit Hashanah, Beres, Hamisha. The difference between Shavuos and Rosh Hashanah, every he goes a solar year, a lunar year, I'm sorry, 354 days. So therefore, 
every year there's another four days, meaning if it happened on Sunday one year, one year it's going to be on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, the next Thursday, Thursday next year. You can count four more days, 350 days divided into three, and then you have four days divided into seven, I'm sorry, by like seven days of the week. So that would be 50 weeks plus an extra four days, so it's four days later. Meaning, if there's an extra other, that the other is 29 days. So you have an extra 28 days is four weeks. So the 29th day is a fifth day later, up on Friday of the next year. Either way, the point is, is that he considers you always have six months that are Mali and six months that are Chaser. So you never have, like Rosh Shemaya says, that two, that CR, Sivan, and ER could be both uh, Mali or both Chaser. Bogi Rabbi Zeira. Rabbi Zeira has a question. Mahu Balta Acher. Yorish Mahu Balta Acher. By us, it's also that way. By us, it's also that way, right? That's how we, our calendar is set up, right? We don't have that. Yeah. You can't have on the fifth day. Right. Exactly. Same thing every year. Same thing every year. By Rabbi Zeira. Yorish Mahu Balta Acher. Someone who Yarshins his father, right? His father pledged a carbon and he died before he bought the carbon. Could his. Child be over in Balta Acher. He did our nether Amar Rachman of a hollow nether. He didn't take the nether. A dilma of Vasa Shama is a shama. You have to bring it. It seems that's a chiva anyone. It's a chiva on the korban. Is it in the chiva on the gaver? Is it a chiva on the korban? Ah, love this. You can put it in the rishim also. That's nice. A hamachai of Tashma. The Tanya Rebbe Chia Mimcha Prat Liorish. A Gemara de Drasha Mimcha from you. The Mem is a mir. It exempts the Yorish from Baldacher. It has a different learning we learn from the Zeleket Shechel Peya. Like some of the grains fall, you forget some grain, or you leave over a corner in your field. Again, these are types of taxes, right? Poor taxes for the poor. Kari Be Imcha, the Kari Be Imcha. The Marian says, no, there's two Joshes. You can learn from the word Imcha. That includes Lekha Shechel Peya. Me Imcha is a me. to tell you the Yorish is not over in Baldacher. Why did Bezer Isha Mahi Baldacher? A woman. Right. Uh, a woman uh, in her husband's estate, meaning her husband's not around, right? So it's hard to pledge a korban. Uh, does she have to bring it about the acher? Me, I'm reading halo mechayiv b'riya. She's not chayiv in riya and bring it all this riya. We saw in the gemara in Chagiga. We'll get to a couple of months down the road. Each is tour. The first bishnah in Chagiga. Each is tour in all this riya. Odilma is to be simcha, but she's chayiv in simcha. Shalmi simcha, she has to be. I'm gonna buy the table clay. They used to be simcha. So the buyer says, yeah, it's a good proof. She's chayiv in simcha. The merchant says, I'm gonna buy a hockey. The buyer says, yes, I'm gonna buy a. Isha buy them a simcha. The buyer holds there's no chayiv for Isha to bring shalmi simcha. The mitzvah is that she has to eat from the shalmi simcha. Her husband has to be mocked with the carbonus in order to make her happy. But she has no chayiv on herself to make herself happy. The merchant says, Divrei the Rabbi Zera Ka'amar. He's saying according to the words of Rabbi Zera. According to Reb Zeira, who holds that Isha Bailas, he doesn't hold Isha Bailam as Samcha, but he holds Isha Bailam as Samcha. Isha, according to him, Shalmi Simcha is a Chiyav on the woman. That's why he said, according to Reb Zeira, and that will conclude today's Shear. Why is Shear today? Put it down in the annals as one of the best Shear ever in the history of Lambdas. And uh, we'll be offering Rashimos if you join the Shear. Take care, bye.